Sir Taylor, perhaps you could explain a bit more about the score given in a, an 11 plus exam because when parents get the results they don't get the percentage or the number of questions answered correctly they get a standardized score perhaps you can explain what that means that is well worth explaining because a standardized score is, can be difficult to interpret because you can't convert it directly into a raw score or a percentage that most people will understand the reason for this is because the standardized score depends on two things one it depends on the raw score so the higher the standardized score, the higher the raw score. But it also depends on how well that pupil has done compared to other pupils of the same age. Now what I mean by that is that when children are 10 and 11 years old, as they are typically when they do their 11 plus exams, the difference in age of up to a year can be significant. So a pupil born on the 1st of September would be a year older than a pupil born on the 31st of August. Typically, if you took the average score of all the September born children and compared it with the average score of all the August born children, the average score for the September children would be significantly higher. What this means is that age is giving the September children an advantage over the younger children. And if the grammar schools did not correct this, then the older children would be overrepresented in the grammar schools purely because they were older when they took the 11 plus exam and the younger children would be underrepresented and they would lose out purely because they were born late in the school year, which is of course unacceptable. So the standardization process tries to negate that effect in the fairest way possible. So it is about as fair as they can make it. So the standardized score reflects one, the raw score, and two, how well the pupil performed compared to other children born in the same month. Now one thing that might actually make it very clear to parents that they can't convert a standardized score directly back into a raw score that they can understand is this fact that a pupil who gets a raw score of zero in the 11 plus exam, so in other words they got zero questions right or zero percent, they will actually get a standardized score of 69. And the pupil who comes top or top of their age range is likely to get a standardized score of 141. So all the other scores will be spread between 69 and 141 and the pass mark will be set to closer to the 141 end. And if you'd like to find out more about the courses available or just have some questions about the 11 plus then give Sir Taylor or one of his colleagues a call on the number provided through the contact us button.